address the human condition a lot. What does isolation look like on the inside? And what does that bring out in a person? What does that make you think of? So my name is Roshan Ganu and I go by she, her. And the title of the show is Purnima, Gazing into the Full Moon Night. Purnima is a word for the full moon in Marathi. Marathi is my native language. One of those days when, you know, we were, we didn't know where the world was going and I was sitting by the window and in 2020, I realized that when I was talking about what I'm feeling in Marathi, it just felt different versus when I would talk about what I'm feeling in English and that really set a ball rolling in my mind where when you speak in a different language you're not just speaking or tapping into a different language it is a whole state of mind I understand myself differently when I speak in English I understand myself differently when I speak in French I understand myself differently when I visited home in February this year which I did after like three years um, and it was really hard and I mean those three years were really hard and then it was almost like a rupture like it's it's like I got so used to the longing and the melancholy that it was almost uncomfortable to be comfortable when I went home and I thought that was an interesting transition belonging is something that is an underlying theme or the subtext for not just this show but my work in general which again comes down to like again human condition right like we all want to belong at some point i was a child of migrant parents and then moved to a different state and then language became an important way of being accepted so that sense of belonging i guess was always ruptured in different spaces for me since childhood but at the same time we all go through that, right? We all have those moments of how do I make a space into a place? Another synonym for place could be home. It was important for me to have this residency at Subak for a month where I could really use the space where I wasn't just bringing work from outside and putting it in here, but you could say that this work belongs here. The mirrors really added that uncertainty, the curiosity, the ungroundedness, like the limitlessness of space, like physic this space and outer space and the space within. It's been about a year and a half that I was trying to create these moving image collages on a smaller scale. The landscape that I come from is a very colorful one. It is a very layered and like dense visual spectacle. You'll see all these bright reds and yellows and greens and oranges and you'll see people wearing these colors every day with a backdrop of a brown, like a sandy brown. Of course people use color here no doubt but the perception of color is a little different. I've always been an explorer I think. I really enjoy the process of strategically getting into a different world in whatever it is I do with art. Like for this project, I'm doing a trilingual research. So like I would read and listen to Marathi, read and listen to English, read and listen to some French, read and listen to some Konkani. But like I was really trying to switch between languages and I wonder what that will look like in, in the work. So the previous iteration did not have sound. It was complete silence. I mean, only ambient sound from like the street or whatever. It was very quiet. There was the sound of life and like people did not feel uncomfortable in the silence. It was a very comforting silence. So I was like, what if I flip that this time and include sound? These were again soundscapes that I had taken or filmed in different parts of the world. There, you'll see like textures in the sound as well. This is so much about that liminal space between like memory and forgetting. It's the liminal space or the poetic space between past, present, future. Like it's, it, it, it is not binary in any way. While I am interested in story, I think what I'm more interested in is in narrative and non-narrative and space and time. So what I like about the word narrative is that I can negate it. I don't know how to negate storytelling.